So I recently got into Code of the Friend after hearing Lyrics to Go Volume 3 when it dropped back in January. Since then, I've really dove into his catalog, got into albums and tapes like Lyrics to Go Volume 1 and 2. Um, this album, Everything, which we'll get into in a minute, as well as the collab tape with, with Static Selected to Kill a Sunrise or Sunset. Um, I haven't come back to that one a whole lot, but the rest I have, especially this one. Um, Apple Music Replay came out yesterday. This is my most listened to album of the year by, I think, 116 plays, uh, which is actually quite a bit, especially considering it's I, I've only been listening to it for a month. 12 songs on here, 38 minutes from Code of the Friend. It's the perfect length and the perfect album. The, the title should be Code of the Friend. Everything is perfect. And this album is absolutely perfect, and I have not stopped coming back to it since I first listened to it. This album is perfect from start to finish. Absolutely perfect. There's no cons on the album. There's nothing that I have to complain about or critique. From start to finish, this album is absolutely perfect. Um, the intro track, Summer House, is perfect. One thing I love about the album is the the nature sounds and the, the bird chirping noises in the background on songs like Summer House, Mikasa, and there's one or two more might be Morocco, that have the the birds chirping in the background, which sounds very good in my opinion. It adds to the very mellow, laid-back sound of the album. It really adds to the summer-spring kind of sound and vibe that the album gives off as well. The next one, Mikasa, is very, very, very good. I love I love Mikasa. I love like every song on here, but Mikasa, um, lyric, lyrically, flow-wise, sound-wise, is perfect in my opinion. Summer House, I kind of skipped over Summer House. Sorry, talking about the, the, the bird noises, but Summer House is a great intro. Um, kind of sounds similar to a lot of the songs on the album, but starts off the album perfectly in my opinion, lyric wise and sound wise. A lot of the songs on here do sound similar, like Summer House, Mikasa, most of the songs on here, but because it's so short and because I just love and really get into this sound, I really don't care, um, and they don't sound as similar to me, but I can definitely see how somebody else can really just think that the album just sounds very, very, very similar from song to song, from start to finish, but the third track, BQE, is um, a little more upbeat, though, a little more upbeat and, and energetic, um, probably my favorite on the album. This one I've definitely come back to the most. Um, the features are perfect, fit perfectly into the track. The hook is amazing. The faster paced hook and production and the horns in the background. Everything is perfect on this song. This is definitely my, my, my favorite song on the album as well. Then we get to Long Beach, which is more of a um, laid back love song. Um, there's a feature on here. I don't remember who it is. She fits perfectly into the track though. The, her vocals definitely add to the song as well. Add to that relaxing kind of like vacation spring love sitting by the pool kind of kind of sound and vibe this song gives off it's got a similar sound and similar subject matter to the uh sixth or yeah sixth track on here away park which is also a song touching a lot on love i think the feature on here is kate k-a-i-i-t um her vocals definitely add to the track as well um Love the lyrics, love the sound, very laid back, kind of like a spring, summer kind of song, similar to the rest of the songs on here. Overall, I just, I'm going to say it again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep saying it, I love this sound that he creates on every song and as a, a project and, and an album as a whole. Even the interludes on here, Lakeith's interlude is the last one and there's one more. The the fifth song on here is an interlude as well, a longer one, I don't, I, I don't remember who the, the name is on there. But the interludes even add to it as well. Um, I don't mind um, the interludes. They're, they're short, but there's somebody talking. They're talking about valuable valuable things, though. So I, I really don't mind them breaking up the album. Uh, I think it actually adds to the album. After Away Park, we get to Volvo, which has a great hook. Uh, and overall, overall, great sound. Great hook, though. Very relaxing song. The next one has a probably, probably one of the best hooks on the album, Morocco. Uh, with a great, great, great feature from Toby Lou. Fits perfectly into the song, um, aesthetic-wise 
sonically and his voice and style just fits perfectly into the song with Coda. After Morocco is the interlude seven. Um, I love seven. Um, half of it is rapid, half of it is just him talking, but he talks about something valuable, spending time with his kid. In the first half of the song, he has a pretty catchy flow and good sound as well. Um, starts off with a faster paced, catchy flow. On Always featuring Kyle and Braxton Cook, the hook is pretty good. It's one of the longer songs, or the longest, I'm pretty sure, on the album. Hook is pretty good. Um, I, I do enjoy the subject matter on here as well. Most of the album, and this song as well, is pretty positive um, subject matter. It's one of the things I, I like the most about Code of the Friend. He doesn't talk about the usual things that hip-hop artists talk about and all these negative things. He talks about positive things, and even sometimes if he does talk about things that are more um, deep, it's in a in a positive way. And Kyle adds to that on this track for sure uh, with a great verse, good lyrics, and an amazing flow from Kyle fitting perfectly into the song and with the production and with Coda as well. Positive subject matter um, on everything, the last track on here, every uh, everything, the great, great outro in my opinion. Um, positive subject matter, like I said. And then, and flow are just very catchy as well. And then at the end, end of the track, towards the back end of it, um, Lil Coda, his son, talking a, a little bit, uh, which I think kind of adds to the track. Um, definitely isn't a negative of the album. Um, this album, like I said in the title, is perfect. This sound is very appealing to me. Some of the songs do sound very, very, very similar. But I think Coda's very mellow, relaxed voice, style, sound, and flow go perfectly with the production and the sound and the style he's trying to create. It's a perfect album for like spring and summertime. I'm going to be listening to this probably all year round. Um, I'm glad I found this album, but I wish I would have found it like a month from now when it's starting to get nicer outside. Code is one of the only rappers I've ever really heard that really talks about positive things and has positive subject matter on just about every song. He does get deeper, but he doesn't do it in a way that, you know, brings you down or makes you depressed or deprives deprives you of your energy, really. The album is perfect from start to finish. Features, production, hooks, the little things like the interludes, um, even Lil Coda towards the end of the album talking a little bit. I don't mind that. Um, hooks are pretty perfect throughout the album. Production's amazing. I love the production from start to finish. Production fits Coda perfectly, and the style is going for it perfectly from start to finish. Even small things like the nature sounds and the, the bird the bird noises um, add to the songs and the sound he's going for. Flows, it just is very mellow, laid back sound in my opinion. is very, very, very appealing. Maybe others wouldn't be as big of a fan of this style, but I definitely really, really um, like it. And it's very relaxing, very laid back in a very, very enjoyable album and sound in my opinion. Thank you for watching, drop a like, subscribe as well. Rating for the album, 10 out of 10. Easily, easily 10 out of 10, perfect. Best songs, all of them start to finish, even the interludes. Thank you for watching, drop a like, subscribe. Drop down in the comment section your, your thoughts on this album and on Code of the Friend. More videos on him definitely coming soon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.